remember a Chicago icon now because today is the 30th anniversary of the death of Harold Washington, the first African -Ameri American mayor in Chicago. And tonight we are hearing from David Axelrod. He was key, of course, in getting Barack Obama elected president, but he also was an important advisor to Mayor Washington, and he is sharing with us his unique perspective. You want Harold? Well, here's Harold! <laughs> I remember him as a larger-than-life character. Harold was funny, he was brilliant, he was uh, quick, uh, he was irresistible. <laughs> Harold Washington uh, was a really historic figure in the city, not just because he was the first African-American mayor, but because he really empowered a, a whole segment of our community that felt excluded uh, from the mainstream of civic life. I made a commitment that I would do something to break forever the stranglehold that this monolithic machine, which has no concern for our interests, has on this district. He had grown up in the democratic machine, and learned to hate it for the indignities he felt it heaped on him and others being asked to vote against the interests of their own community. I would say that Barack Obama stood on Harold Washington's shoulders. Had Harold Washington not been elected mayor in 1983, uh, I don't know that the political conditions would have been there for Barack Obama to rise in Illinois politics the way he did. I think they would have been great friends had Harold lived. They shared sensibilities, and I think Barack would have seen Washington as a real mentor in politics. And when he died, I remember the lines and lines of people who ringed City Hall to come and pay their respects as he laid in state. And it was a real cross-section of the city, white, black, Hispanic, Asian, old, young. Harold had won the hearts of the people of this city. He certainly won mine. 